Hey folks, Dave here again, and welcome back to part two of my tour of my custom Fallout 4 settlement that I'm calling Fortress Sanctuary. If you missed out on part one, you can click the link on the screen right now or in the description to go check it out, and I would recommend that you do that. If you're coming in late though, this entire settlement here in Sanctuary in Fallout 4 was my attempt to create a settlement that fit into the rest of the world of the Commonwealth in Fallout 4. I wanted this to be a town that you could just stumble upon and it would feel like an actual place in the game. I'm going to dive back into the custom tour that I'm giving Joel of the settlement, and afterwards Joel is going to get to make a plan and actually attack Fortress Sanctuary, and we're going to see if the defenses hold up to his villainous ways. There goes all of my guards. <laughs> Giant <laughs> what hat. What was Holy that look? cow. Of course, all my guards are wearing the actual Minuteman outfit and hats. So that, kind of like how Diamond City, everyone wears like the umpire stuff. You gotta know who the guards are. Now, originally, Joel, when my settlement was only using like 30 power, I built all of my generators up on top of platforms. I wanted to build these like wooden uh, walls around them to protect them from attack. Because yeah. raiders and all will actually attack and try to take out your power sources. So now that my settlement is dependent on a lot of power, like that stupid bar sign alone takes like 40 power. <laughs> Dude, you're just wasting all the energy you guys have. <laughs> What's so awesome though is like our settlement, we're so advanced, we're like, we're wasting power now. Like that's how far we've come. So to protect our biggest power source, I built a generator room with a secure sliding door and all the instrumentation. This is our primary industrial generator for the settlement. <laughs> Does it do anything, Dave? It, it actually generates power. Yeah, this generates... Is I it think, connected to other stuff? Oh, of course. Oh, wow. So this is... <laughs> 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 I just the whole image is like, praise <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's actually doing uh, 35 power, and you'll appreciate this, Joel. I use the actual shack roof that has one piece missing to run the power out of the roof so that no one can get in that hole. Like, it's too small to get into, so it's totally secure. I can get in that hole. <laughs> As you do. Um, and then, of course, we have my day. artillery support here. I didn't even know you could have that. Holy crap. Yeah, so I can throw a smoke grenade anywhere. In, this like, is not a mod, right? No, this is actually in the base game. Wow. You need to do the do the castle quest. You get all kinds of cool stuff. Cool. Um, I can throw an artillery smoke grenade, and I'll show you later what it does. I can shell people as they're trying to cross the river to attack. That's awesome. <laughs> with a mortar. And if people attack, you can climb the platforms here. Little lookout post, air raid siren. At wow. which point, everyone who's like farming and whatnot, you'll see them. Uh, everyone stops, pulls out guns, and they head to check the perimeter, go to the high points, and they secure the areas. So, what's really cool, and I love that Bethesda actually did this if people attack my settlement, the nearest settler to the alarm will actually run and trigger it by themselves. So, like, if I'm on the wall and an attack starts, I'll actually hear the siren start behind me, like, it's a it's a really cool feature that the AI actually does that. It's the sound of your immersion too. <laughs> <laughs> so coming down from our alarm tower here, we have our original garden for sanctuary, and I made her a gardener and gave her the worst looking clothing because she really pisses me off. She's so obnoxious, dude. I built this awesome settlement, and she keeps saying things like, "Oh, living here is like so annoying, like it's so hard." Who is, who is Marcy? She's one of the survivors. Like. I think her, either one of her sons or someone she was like more. close to died oh, before okay. you saved them, but she's just constantly like she's really pissy to you and I, like for me personally. <laughs> Made her the garden. <laughs> yeah, for me look, personally, she's not even she's not even doing anything. She's like, look guys, I'm totally picking up stuff. She's not doing anything. <laughs> so what we'll do? Um, hey, is that your silencer? The map like mirror what you kind of have in real life. A little bit. It's one of the best silence guns in the game. I love it. I also love that these barrels actually cast light. Like that, mm, that pleases me. That's beautiful. So we're gonna go out the back garden here. We've already seen the sleeping quarters, and this is where I have some of my backup generators uh, running off of uh, off of gasoline and diesel. I'd imagine they're elevated for protection. The diesel's going right into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, so that's actually on purpose because what did what do trees and plants do? They clean the air. Are you serious? Yeah, a little bit. Are you look, serious? Look where the smoke's going. Oh, I imagine that can't be good for the tomatoes. <laughs> like, that's going to make them taste like crap. <laughs> 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 I 
this is the back door to the kind of like uh, the inn slash extra sleeping quarters underneath the, the bar and grill. So you come out here and of course kind of like uh, the other part of the, uh, the settlement it's all connected by catwalks. The cannon just for you know that threatening look doesn't do anything but it looks scary but all these catwalks connect over to here so you can oh who knocked over the lantern um and this is actually looks down onto the uh, the entrance to the market district back now, here now why don't you have a, any like security right here on this one i mean people will actually be up here so oh, they will. oh okay and i mean if you look at the look at the turrets there's a shotgun turret right here ground level right in front of the door uh machine gun turret looking right there down into the settlement machine gun turret laser turret heavy laser turret like come on in feel welcome but if you screw up <laughs> you're gonna be swiss cheese in like die, seconds die a death worse than anything you can imagine basically <laughs> so the catwalks continue this way i put candles down so you can see the catwalk at night now this is all interesting but i need to, i want to see the shower room we're getting there you have to see the school first <laughs> i forgot you had a school a school and a gym <laughs> and a gym <laughs> So yeah, this is the rest of the defenses for out front. As you can see, everything has its correct platform. Oh my god! And whatnot. And of course, you know, spotlights too, so that you can see at night who's attacking the settlement. I also cleared all the land so that it's like you cross the open plain of doom. We're gonna get on stairs here. We've got our um, our recessed lunch area here. Some candles for the kids that we don't have in the settlement yet to eat lunch. <laughs> And the props in here are a bit screwed up. There's something wrong with this house. Uh, the game, whenever I leave the settlement and come back, all the props have like flown around this room crazily. Hmm. It was more detailed, but I got tired of replacing them every time I came back, so they're just kind of... You. How many times did you replace it, Dave? Four times. Like, ten minutes apiece, putting all the props back. Before I was like, screw it, it's going to keep breaking. <laughs> so you got the teacher's desk here with the globe. You've got your student's desk with their Nuka-Cola bottle. Why don't you have the statue of you, Dave, in here? <laughs> I'm sure you pro you probably come by with your trusty little hat and your pistol, and you're like, children, you know why you're safe here? Because of me. <laughs> Remember, kids. When you grow up, you're going to be working the gardens. You're going to be cleaning the kitchen. Of course, I added, like, a nice uh, greenhouse-style door with broken glass for the kids. <laughs> We've got a, a filing cabinet It's room. a harsh world. they gotta, they got to learn pretty quickly. I mean, pretty much. But, again, though, at least they have a roof over their head. The roofs are all sealed up. And you got your their lunch boxes and teddy bears in the shelf and their reading material. <laughs> so, in your mind, how how long do kids are kids taught in school until? I mean, obviously you don't have a high school. Of course not. No, no. I, I mean, you got to grow up pretty quickly. I'd say, seeing this is a very secure settlement, and we're trying to you know go back to some old world style of you know education and safety. When do and when do boys become men in this in this area? They're working in the gardens. Let's say thirteen is when you graduate <laughs> to work in the gardens. And then this is the little gymnasium. <laughs> Gotta keep into shape, even inside the walls. Gym. <laughs> Come on. It's got weights and <laughs> some. Was that protein? <laughs> you have acid. <laughs> acid. That's protein. Uh, and some clean air to keep the mats clean and you know light. That's the gym. It's slightly depressing, but. <laughs> well, I mean, it, that's a pretty nice little schoolhouse. I mean, for the apocalypse, it has. Oh wait, now is that gym room destroyed because everything's freaking out? Because everything's just on the ground. Oh, no. Now, strangely, all these props are exactly like I left them. Oh, so you wanted to make it feel like someone would just been... S someone just worked out. Yeah. <laughs> what did he do? Break the, like, radiator on the side of the wall? Oh, that's, that's part of the ground props. I can't... Oh, okay. I can't get rid of that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's our, our schoolhouse, Al. <laughs> we got a little bit of plants and, and trees outside to help with the diesel smoke from the generators. A little fire for light at night. And we're going to come around the back here... <laughs> the children, as they go to school, they're constantly looking out the windows going, oh, I'm going to be doing work in the field soon. <laughs> out here in the gardens, we've uh, repurposed the playground, which is basically non-functional. You never fixed the playground. I mean, you can't fix the playground. I know. But <laughs> so instead... But you would have fixed it if you could. For the children, yes. But instead, <laughs> I've repurposed it as uh, areas for all the plants to grow on, like the tomatoes and whatnot. Makes sense. Do you have water nearby? How do they spray water? Oh, there's, there's water everywhere. There's, there's a pump here. There's a pump over there. There's a pump over there. Oh, wow. Okay. Never... There's a pump over here. 
We got our Sorry, I am. <laughs> we got planners right there. <laughs> we'll, we'll, you built that up just for the plan. Because the ground wasn't flat and they were floating wrong, so I fixed it. As you can see, this house is part of our fortifications, totally sealed up. Did you put the hose back there? Oh, uh, no, this was actually part of, oh. our, part of the... But I feel like you would have if you could. I would have if I could have. Easy living, this ain't. I saw that. <laughs> it's also one of our largest new trees here. Um... As we go Have around, you at all gone back and replaced larger trees as if time has gone by, Dave? A little bit. <laughs> are you serious? Like you had a shorter tree and you're like, oh, it's been a while, let's have a bigger tree now. <laughs> Most of the trees are small, but this one, this one's a larger tree. <laughs> Over here, my... To represent your full immersion. I, I'm going to kind of go back to, this is our, our front entrance over here where we, where we actually came across the bridge. So I want to show how this wall works. I actually built this wall into the stone wall, so... The waterfront is actually one of our most secure areas. We've got spotlights that are actually connected, shining down into the river with spikes. So anyone trying to cross at the river uh, has to... It's like D-Day, basically. And then, you know, your restricted area signs, so everyone knows that it's not how you're supposed to get into the river. You put a lot of those signs out. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. All of them. Are they all around the whole perimeter? <laughs> Only where you're not supposed to go in. Elsewhere, I want them to feel welcome. Oh, okay. But the rest of the walls, restricted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you go in here, and because people keep leaving this door open, I put a shotgun turret right there, right through the door. Uh, and then you got, you know, a turret there is back up. You name your place called Death. Just City of Death. Basically. Um, coming down here, we got some more generators, and then we have our bathhouse. We got, we got women's restrooms here. It's got the actual screen door. Nothing too fancy, but for the apocalypse... You have a screen door? <laughs> I mean, to vent air. I mean. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, you you could peek in. Like, look, you could easily. Peek that's in. why I built the walls. Well, yeah, that's true, but I mean, I if I was creeper, I'd peek in sideways. <laughs> I, I mean, pl plan B is the bushes. So we're this is this is pretty advanced okay, for the yeah, apocalypse. Yeah, it's, it's advanced, I guess Joel, I'm... it's got a plumbing sign. I know. <laughs> okay, it's pretty advanced. And uh, you know, mats to help with the water, sink to wash your hands, a little candle for light at night. Do you have showers? It's called a bathhouse, isn't it? For oh, wow. showers, and then of course. Oh, wait, are those like doubled as those? Because those like radiation ones. Oh, well, it's a shower and sink. Yeah, yeah combination. Yeah. yeah. And we have the, of course the men's side here with. Uh, wow. The mats and all. Yeah. My idea for this wall. Notice how it stops right here. I didn't want to completely wall in the waterfront because honestly, up in the main part of the settlement, you have the nice trees, the nice market area, the nice. Uh, Main Street basically looks pretty nice, but down out here just be walls, like kind of grim and depressing. Now, where does the plumbing go from the bathroom, Dave? It drains into the river, which is why it's down here, and then goes downriver. Notice how the water flows? The water purifier. So you can walk over the bridge of shit. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, the water is flowing pretty fast. I don't think just twenty people could cause that big of an issue, but yeah. They're just gonna get clogged up over there. <laughs> a clog could cause issues. Happy little settlement down the down the river is like this is horrible. They're all getting diseases. But yeah, for the waterfront, I was concerned. I'm like, I don't want everyone to be just totally walled in. So I wanted like you to be able to see over the walls. That's why I just use wire down through here, and there's like areas where you can kind of enjoy the waterfront with all the rusted cars and dead trees. But to secure that that area, we got a gate right here. We got tons of trip wires right here. And then flamethrower traps. So anyone who tries to attack, oh you, you want to see... Now, how, does, how do residents walk through this without tripping off everything? This is not a resident entrance. So what are, like, children walking around, around like, flamethrower? I mean, they got to grow up someday. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll show you what happens when you walk through it. And notice how the water purifier is upstream from yeah. the crap factory. <laughs> the crap factory. <laughs> well, I'm going to do the trip wire here and then run back. <laughs> Come on in. Oh my god. And it's actually set on a timer uh, where it'll run out of fuel and then I can repair it with more fuel. Really? Yep. You made a timer on it? Well, this uh, this power pylon is a delayed on off switch. So it kind of runs out so I can reset. Oh wow. Reprime the target. Whoop, don't scrap it. How do you reprime? Oh wow. wow, it's reprimed. Ready to go again. Wow. So this shows you who the settlement belongs to while reminding you this is not an actual entrance. This is the entire purpose of this wall system, these short wire walls, is basically so people can just enjoy the waterfront. 
which I am now stuck in. So yeah, I'll just show you the next feature then. Let me go up river, pass all my horrific spikes. Get our lantern and our turret here. <laughs> One quick stroke. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it usually takes. <laughs> 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 So this entrance is usually closed, just in case someone decides to uh, welcome themselves in. There's a laser tripwire, and you can't hear it because it's on headphones right now. When you trip it, a loud tone plays over the speaker to warn people that someone just went through this entrance. Oh, wow. It's not used very often. But once you're inside, um, don't take the lack of tall walls as less secure. This is the most secure side of the settlement, even with wow. the lack of walls. Because almost every turret on this side of the settlement, because of the, the slope down to the river, can see across the river. There are, like, intersecting Whoa. shields of fire. Not shields of fire, uh, lanes of fire. There we go. Turrets here, solid concrete walls to help uh, hold up the main walls. We've got guards That's right here cool. looking over the river. What kind of gun does that guy have? Or that person? I think she's a new arrival. I think she just has default stuff. Got our windmill that'll here. That'll change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll change. I, I got a minute and outfit for you. <laughs> and to help enjoy the river, we have a little patio here. That's amazing. You put a napkin down on there? Of course. <laughs> Where you can enjoy the view of the <laughs> crappy river. Shotgun turret right there. Um, chair for the guards. Weapons locker, Nuka Cola. And finally, we have this gigantic guard tower system here, which overlooks the does, riverside. Does the steps right there anger you a little bit, Dave, that they go right down into a wall? I mean, it's not perfect. This is also a guard tower. It's not really like a, a settlement building. You know, this is for guards. Chair. But I just need to know if that bugs you just a little bit. A like, little bit. I know bit. you wouldn't build it that way. I rebuilt it twice trying to make it better, and the only other option was to make it one whole cube further, and I was just like, eh, it's not worth it. <laughs> but I tried! Um, oh, what's, what's a little tiny room down there? Oh yeah, uh, guards' quarters, just for <laughs> sleeping overnight, you know, you need a quick quick nap, changing of the shift. Dude, I want to I live in this settlement. Wouldn't you feel safe here? Uh, yeah. I mean, money's all yeah. the turds watching I mean, you I, inside. The thing I wouldn't feel safe about is you, Dave, because <laughs> someone who's this obsessed, obsessed, I feel like once you join this settlement, you yeah. never leave this settlement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mention the blood pledge? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, like... I'm really trying to think. I think we've, uh, let me turn off the UI here and do free cam. I think we've about covered almost everything. Um... So, Joel, does this look anything like your sanctuary? Or the original whatsoever? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. This, dude, this looks like a town you just come across. Yeah, yeah, I know. This, yeah, this is pretty amazing. Um, I would say there's probably over 60 hours of work in this settlement. Wow. That's oh. insane. And I That's, mean, I mean, I think I have, I think I have maybe like 72 hours of playing the game right now. <laughs> you have ninety percent of my time is just on crafting so far. And a lot of it was like I had to redo so many things. Like this wall originally was these junk walls, but they were all like floating and whatnot, and that just wouldn't do. So I went through and added the concrete to give it a foundation for the walls. Um, but yeah, I I really think that covers everything. I mean, this house is is empty just to save on memory. I just walled it up to make it part of the part of the walls, so it's just empty and sealed up. Um. Anything else you wanted to see that I missed out on? Like, you have any questions for me? No, I, well, I've, I've been formulating my plan as you've been showing Okay. this. So, okay, I'll, I'll show you what my plan is. If you fly back to the left side, or you back over there. Main Street. Yeah, Main Street. Yeah, okay, so <clears throat> this is what this is what I would do, okay? okay. So if I was trying to just, like, to take over this town, my first thing would be I would be a liar, and I would join your settlement, and I would go on runs, and I would spend... Like months, <laughs> months becoming a very welcomed visitor here and like just uh -huh. becoming a resident, right? And so, my one side is if you pull back a little bit farther, yeah, I just want to see, make sure what area it is because you where do you have it all walled in? Like, it's right, okay, right, yeah, yeah, walls into right there, yeah, okay. This section right here, right here, uh, go straight down, yeah, yeah, by those guys. So, I would figure, like, you have this town, obviously you have your turrets up there, but if I'm a resident now for three months, I become a guard, I would probably gain access to some of these turrets to be able to either switch them off at certain times, so I would 
find times that <laughs> would be the weak links with other guards. I'd buy them booze. <laughs> I'd get them drunk a little bit. <laughs> oh my, where's this going? <laughs> no, let me know. I'm so, but this building right here, right? You have you nothing just, in it. You just have it boarded up. You just take them over to this room yeah. real quick. <laughs> So, yeah, this building right here, right? Uh -huh, so yeah. there's nothing in it. Yeah. You just have it walled up through. What I would do is I would take that one turret down at, like, all I would need is 10 minutes. This one right here? Yeah, I would take that turret down. So right? what What about this one? Uh, I, would, I would just take anyone that's right and, there. And this one. I wouldn't need, because they would sneak up from all on this side. And this one. <laughs> well, they're not coming through this way. I'll show you. Watch. Okay. So they'd come in through over here. They'd sneak up across the river quietly. I would, I would only need about probably 10, maybe if I can get 10 or 15 men in, but watch. Okay, turn around. So they'd sneak up underneath, right over here. They'd sneak along this thing. they go along here. I would take those turrets down so nothing would be alerted. And I could either, either dig a hole right there so that they could climb underneath at the dead of night all those bushes and then get them inside that house because no one's going inside that house now. So I would start massing my group inside this building, and then all I have to do is just take down one panel and let them in. So my challenge is you have everything from outside – but what happens when all of a sudden 15 people come barreling out of this house? You, you have a crew of 15. Wow, you got a high opinion of yourself. <laughs> you, you know what we're going to do, Joel? <laughs> we're going to take down certain defenses and we're going to test your theory. Yeah, yeah we're going to test, test my theory. So I figured, I mean, I'm bad. I'd have a big group. I would, you know, I'd get as many as I could, but I'd say about 15. 15 to 20 people in that okay. group that would sneak through. Let's, let's do this. Because we'll this side is the least, like, there's not a lot of high towers looking that way, other than turrets. All right, what we're going to do first, um, I'm going to do top of free game again. You may pick two turrets from this side to disable, okay? Okay, so I guess, um... Okay, so you want to take down the one turret that's looking outside on the top of the house. Yeah, I'll take, take out that one. Can I see it from over here? Yeah, I can. I'll just store that away. All right, you disable that turret. Okay, I've disabled that turret. And then, uh, and just, I mean, obviously, if I've been spending three months here, I would get to know a lot more, so uh, maybe you can even help me out a little bit here, but I think that other turret right nearby, yeah, I'd probably take out that one, just it, one that's just really high that would immediately disrupt a lot. Okay. So, you know what, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you a favor, let's say that you're a really good liar, I'm not yeah, convinced, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Apocalypse Joel might surprise me. So. Yeah, I mean, I would do whatever it takes, I would earn you guys' trust for a really long time and I'll, become part of the crew. I'll give you the spotlight, too. However, yeah. the siren remains. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I that, I feel like that would be something I would take out though. I mean, I wouldn't be stupid enough to leave a siren. So okay. let's let's get re let's remove the siren. Okay. Now remember, I have a yeah. backup siren. Yeah, I know, I know. So, I if I can get enough people in okay. at once to amass, could I possibly get? So no, no. The, the thing is, the guys would come through this house. Well, you need to make a choice. Would you like a hole in? The fence here, or a hole in the house? No, they would come through the house. Through yeah. the house? Okay. So what I'm going to so do... So we started people, like, right here. Alright, it's beginning. My corn. <laughs> That's the first thing I have the guys do. Destroy all their corn. Oh, there goes the laser turret. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the raiders right there. <laughs> Dude, they're getting massacred. <laughs> Holy crap. Are there any left? Oh, they're like shooting one who's hiding behind the power generator. The spotlight's tracking him. Look at all this. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. This <laughs> on fire. <laughs> Look, he's just like, oh man. Body parts everywhere. That did not last long at all. All right, so uh, reload. Let's go back to our, our, our original plan of fifteen, but let's add. Let's just do twenty-five, Dave. Let's just add a crap ton of people. Let's Joel, you know takes. what? I'll, I'll let you have the damage already done. 
to the settlement. <laughs> yeah, he just listens to spawn a whole bunch. Let's see how many he takes. This <laughs> might crash horribly. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. So yeah, okay, that turret's destroyed at least. Yeah, they got that one. So they're gonna have to move out from the back. Here comes Kazu. They do have a rocket launcher, it looks like, at least one. Holy crap. No one's activated the siren yet. Oh, one of the rocket turrets like turned around. Oh, they're, they're grenading. Ow! Dude, that's so many bad guys. That's more people than I've ever had in my entire settlement before. Are all attacking it right now. Oh, I uh, think they took out one of the turrets up there. Uh oh. So some of the turrets in the center here, after two attacks, they're finally making some progress. I see a settler down right there. Look at the radar. <laughs> doot, doot, doot. Also, how am I still getting 30? Look, look at that! What the? The bra Whoa, where'd he go? The Brahmin just escaped to another dimension. <laughs> He's burning the crops! <laughs> <laughs> you still gotta have, you, how many guys do you have left? Uh, your settlers don't die. Oh, they don't ever die? Yeah, but, oh, okay. but they'll go down for the rest of the fight. Whoa! One of the missile turrets just turned around. You see all the flying radar bodies? Yeah, whoa. I don't know where it managed to shoot from, but it managed to turn around and get some shots into the middle of it. I'm not even sure where that came from. I'm just gonna walk through this madness. <laughs> Everything's just a blur. Ah! Oh, there goes one of the settlers down. Oh, she has a shotgun too. Only Codsworth. Oh my gosh. What? It's like half Raider grenades and half one of the rocket launchers is going. Oh, oh they got your power generator. Good thing that one only provides three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this turret turned around. It's shooting through the, the support struts. <laughs> it's not like gonna fall down the turret. <laughs> Wind turbine's gonna go through them. Some, that some guard tower. Yeah, so some guard tower up here. It's just like, better keep an eye on the river. Smash. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's see. Um, oh, they're making their way over here. They've they burned two of the smaller generators. This one's still going now. He's down. It looks like this turret right here being down is really hurting things. So they're moving this way now. That one's down now. Spotlights are down. So if your town people could actually die, die, I guess you. It looks like you'd need at least twenty-five to thirty people. Yeah, I'd actually. And obviously they don't have. They're not using rocket launchers and stuff. But no, no, they were. Remember, they were, they were blowing up the turrets. They did have rocket launchers. They had grenade launchers because they blew up oh, the turrets okay, on the okay. roof. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you came in and you had snipe people, you had a really good group. You might be able to take them out. But you'd really have to make sure you had all your power, all your power off completely. I'd need, I'd need like a um, well, the an the, EMP bot, EMP blast. The, the the machine gun turrets don't use electricity; they're self-powered. Oh right, that's true. So, and I use a lot of those. I actually use a balance. It's a combination of laser. Well, I guess gun you can easily go over and flick the switch off all those. But the laser ones that use electric uh, electricity, those would be really hard. I, so I, man, you'd 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 need it like an army to come like inside your town I, all with nukes <laughs> yeah i think the key for my settlers to not get wiped out during the attack is they shouldn't be fallout ai and just run in shooting <laughs> they should <laughs> all stay behind the cover and yeah because honestly if that siren goes off and like they're inside the walls just barricade in all these buildings and let the turrets <laughs> do some work but uh it's that's awesome <laughs> you made a crazy good place <laughs> <laughs> this is like d-day <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Do it now, you bastards! <laughs> yeah, they're doing like no. Whoa, there's a death claw up in the sky! Whoa! He's up on top of the tree. He's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ooh, no! You do like doing no damage. So, Joel, what's our, our final verdict? Is it pretty secure? I mean, yeah. if you have to take months to infiltrate, disable defenses, and still not guaranteed success. Yeah. Yeah, I would say just your biggest weakness is you'd want. I, I just feel like you didn't have enough of a vetting process for people coming in to live in the town.
That, that was the biggest reason. Now, if you hired me and I worked there, <laughs> no. I would be the vetting process. <laughs> I would take you down to my deep dungeon. Whoa! Artillery! Oh, the rocket launcher's working again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so many bullets. Most of the turrets aren't even working either. Wow, he's got a lot of health. Yeah, he's got a crap ton of health. It is finished. Well, uh, Camp David, I mean, Camp Dave, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, pretty darn secure. So, yeah, I mean, this seems like it'd be a lovely place to visit. Um, or I live. Th yeah, yeah, to live. You know, as much as, much as Dave carefully plans, I would say... I would recommend someone here to help be kind of the good cop, bad cop. So uh, Dave's definitely the good cop. <laughs> he's, the, <laughs> he's the believe in uh, American pride and uh, truthfulness and honesty. And I'd be the guy who's like, hey, hey, dude, I'm glad you guys came to visit. Come down to my dungeon real quick. I'm going to rip your toenails off and you're going to tell me the truth. <laughs> you know but what I'm going to do it. now, Joel? You realize. Yeah. I'm going to turn the red rocket gas station into like, an internment camp for new settlers <laughs> <laughs> like a prison yeah i mean room. if this is the apocalypse i would have a vetting process because if you have to fight tooth and nail against death claws to survive this place i would do whatever it takes lie cheat steal wear somebody's skin <laughs> <laughs> so that's what i would prepare for so you have the you have the compound for it but that little door right there so close you, I, I would definitely have a vetting process before anyone even gotten close to my town. Staff entrance. <laughs> yeah, staff, staff entrance. Yeah, I mean, you look at any of the larger cities like Diamond City or, you know, Good Springs or, or was it Good Neighbor? Oh, yeah. You, like, we, they, they, you, you don't destroy just, them. You don't just walk in the front door. Like, yeah. there is a vetting process. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm pretty satisfied. I hope you yeah. guys enjoyed See, the ridiculous tour. You just need to build a vetting process, like, right around, somewhere around here, Dave. Just, just a little, uh, like, a shack that they have to stay in. And that's, like, even if... I'm just surprised you don't have a jail cell anywhere. Well, the supply room is like an emergency jail cell. <laughs> you, like, put them in the lockers. <laughs> They're just surrounded by, like, all this crap. Why are there a thousand pieces of plates in here? Oh, it's so far. Holy crap. So do you think you're actually, like, done with this finally? So when you mentioned the vetting process, I thought, like, oh, I could take this building that I wasn't going to use for memory issues and just turn it into the jail. But I'm like, no. No, wait, just don't do it. This is going to crash. <laughs> so I'll use the Red Rocket Station as my, uh, my my jail, I think. I mean, you don't want the jail, like, inside of this nice settlement either. Well, I mean, I would because here's the thing. Is you have a jail off on by itself. How many people are going to be able to take care of that? You'd attack that and get all the people out of the jail, steal the keys from the jail people, the uh, guards there, and then you attack. You don't need the keys. The gates are open. Oh yeah, and the gates are yeah, that's true. Well, I, I'm talking about full immersion that the gates would have been locked. I'm not talking about how the game works. I planned for this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this ridiculous tour, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming out, Joel, and being subjected to this madness. <laughs> no problem, Dave. I'm lonely since the day that you left me. I'm so blue in my misery Since your lips said goodbye I sit here hoping If the right words were spoken